everyone and welcome back to Top Note by A. On this channel, I review fragrances. I also share tips and tricks to buy in me or most fragrances at an affordable price. Also, I will throw in once in a while a beauty and fashion stuff on this channel. But I don't want to talk too much for my new subscribers. I want to say thank you for joining the Top Note family and to my old subscribers. I love you. Thank you for the support always. If you're finding this channel for the first time and you like what you see, please go ahead and subscribe. Also to my new and old subscribers, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and also engage with me in the comment section. Tell me what other stuff you guys would like to see on this channel. Let's not talk too much. Today I have a haul for you guys and this haul is from fragrance.net. So this is one of the place that places one of the places that I buy fragrances from that I'm able to afford it. This fragrance um fragrance um it's not a fragrance company. How would I say this um website fragrance buying website gives me 37% off most of the time they do have 25% off. I never buy any fragrance when it's 25% off over there. I try to do 30, 35 or the 37% off whenever they having that coupon or they having that sale going on. That's when I buy fragrances from fragrance.net. One thing I will tell you is that they do sell authentic real deal fragrances at fragrance.net. Um, I'm a risk taker when it comes to buying my fragrances and I have tested them with so many different fragrances and for me and my experience, they've never sold me any fragrance that is not the authentic or real deal fragrance. Also, I'm able to return any fragrance if there is a problem with it. I'm able to return it to them and they do take it right away. And also, if I need a refund for anything, they refund me. If I need an exchange, they exchange it. So fragrance.net is one of the places that I do buy fragrances from that I'm able to get it at a discount. That being said, let's talk about this haul i think i got nine fragrances from fragrance.net the first one that i will share with you guys is by giorgio amani and this is c fiori i heard this fragrance has been discontinued and so i think because i've heard so many great things about this fragrance i went ahead when i saw it on fragrance.net and i bought it i was able to get the 50 ml bottle for I'm not sure, but I think I got it for 37. I'm not sure. I'm not sure the price, but I know for a fact that I got it for 37% off. And for what this fragrance is and how people rave about, especially people that I watch here on YouTube rave about this fragrance, I think it's okay for me to pay what I paid for to get this fragrance. So let me tell you some of the notes of this fragrance why I was interested to buying this from fragrance.net. This fragrance is vanilla. It's fruity, it's citrusy, it's powdery and it also has rose to name some of the few accords that were listed on Fragrantica. It opens up with black currant and green mandarin. The middle has neroli, rose patchouli and oak moss. The base has vanilla and white moss. This fragrance is very beautiful and I have tried this fragrance twice already and I'm going to use the fragrance paper because I've tried this on my skin already so I know but it's very fruity like the, um, the main accords have listed it. It's fruity, it's citrusy and it's slightly powdery and slightly woody. It's a very beautiful fragrance and I see why people talk about it. So this is Amani C Fiori and I love the color, the bottle. It's well done for me, well blended um, fragrance. I don't know, I don't know if I will do an in-depth review, but if you guys are interested, let me know in the comment section and I can tell you the longevity, the sillage, everything about this. But so far, this is good, good. It's a good buy. The next fragrance that I want to share with you guys 
is by Tiziana Terenzi and this fragrance goes by the name of Vile or Veil not Veil is Vile and when I read this notes I, when I read the notes about this fragrance I'm like okay this is something that I will really enjoy all these fragrances, I've never tried it. These are blind buys. And for me, I tend not to go to the store a lot and I do a lot of online shopping. So most fragrances are blind buys. Once in a while, if I make, I made it to Sephora or Macy's or, you know, those counters like Neiman Marcus, I will smell the fragrance. If I come home and it's something that I like, then I will still go ahead and buy it online. So I read up a lot on notes and I read reviews on Fragrantica. I tend not to let it actually sway me from buying a fragrance. Sometimes people will say awful things about fragrances, but when you buy it, you will see that you like it. So, but I use it as a guide to see if I will be interested in a fragrance. So let's talk about this Tiziana Terenzi fragrance. On Fragrantica, it's listed as having main accords of being tropical, fruity, green, sweet, vanilla floral powdery fresh and fresh spicy and woody this fragrance has it opens up with green leaves mango passion fruit red currant the middle has heliotrope it has um hyacinth it also has ylang ylang jasmine and rose to name a few of the middle and then the base has papaya it has vanilla it has princess tree it has amber and all spice and also musk this is spring in a bottle this fragrance is actually spring in a bottle it's very very nice well done it doesn't to me it doesn't have that strong woody woody tiziana terenzi dna it's just so sweet and floral and fresh i just love this fragrance and once again I got this from fragrance.net. The next fragrance that I got from fragrance.net in this haul is from Lancome and this is the La Nuit Trésor and the, the fragrance flanker is Mox Diamond. This fragrance I got it because there is a girl here on YouTube that I watch. I think her name is Rhoda something and I can leave it right here for you guys. Um, she talked about this fragrance and I'm like okay from the way she described this fragrance I want to try it because I've always wanted to try the Lancome La Nuit Trésor line I've never been able to get one that when I read the notes I will actually I, it feels like I will actually like it but when she reviewed this and read the notes I'm like okay this is something that I think I will enjoy and it's like max and max and max and max and max overload so this fragrance opens up with white max it has raspberry and violet leaf the middle has another white max it has um, the max rose frigia and jasmine the base of this fragrance also has another white max it has vanilla sweet almond no sorry it just have almonds it has amber sandalwood and patchouli and if once again if you've watched this channel for a while you guys know my love for anything woody sandalwood patchouli and this is well done it's max overload i think it would also be very appropriate for springtime it's very ozonic it's aquatic too so for me it's light it's not heavy it's light musky floral fragrance and i think it will be very appropriate for spring and summer so once again this is la nuit trésor max diamond i move on the next fragrance that i will share with you guys is by narcisco rodriguez and this is narcisco rodriguez for her this fragrance and it's fleur fleur max so literally translating to floral max if i'm not mistaken this fragrance when i read the note about this fragrance and i've always wanted to try once again i've always wanted to try this fragrance but when i read the notes because i've been watching reviews about this but when i read the notes from fragrantica i'm like okay let me see what is what this fragrance is about and once again i love patchouli and i love 
amber so i'm like okay i'll try it this fragrance has main accord listed as rose floral musky fresh powdery soft spicy and patchouli it opens up with pink pepper and the middle has rose max and peony the base has patchouli violet and amber so for me i think the violet makes it that gives it that powdery um note and it's musky because it has max in the middle and the patchouli it's not dirty patchouli the patchouli it's not like overpowering the patchouli i think is there to push up everything and gives it body so this fragrance is not light and it's not heavy it's just in the middle i feel like it's more it, the name says it is um for hair so it's more feminine but then again and i forgot to say this wear what you want to wear when you want to wear and how you want to wear it that's my motto here you know my husband i believe can pull this fragrance off easily and nobody will know that is something for her the next fragrance that i want to share with you guys in this haul is from bond number no. nine and this is madison avenue Madison Avenue is fruity, it's sweet, it's rose, it's floral, it's patchouli, citrusy, and amber. This fragrance base has patchouli, praline, and ambroxan. The middle has rose, jasmine, and magnolia, and it does open up with apple, blackberries, and bergamot. When I say this fragrance, it's feminine. It's feminine, floral, sweet, fragrance is it's so appropriate for all weather spring summer fall winter you can pull it off it's just the most elegant sweet smelling it's like female ethereal in a bottle that's just to my nose that's what i feel whenever i smell this and whenever i wear this fragrance which i've wore it twice so if you guys are interested in an in-depth review leave me a comment in the comment section and i'll be glad to review this beautiful fragrance with you guys even though my fragrance tastes tend to lean unisex but leaning more masculine i love this fragrance it's like female feminine femininity in a bottle for me it's just so elegant and ethereal and just soft and i just i don't know i just love this fragrance it's so beautiful and i got the 50 ml bottle and if i haven't said anything i think all the fragrances that i got are eau de parfum with the exception of the tiziana Terenzi, which is a straight they perform so yeah and i got this in 50 ml because the four bond number nines that i have comes in 50 ml so i want to keep the same look and 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 vibe to my fragrance my bond collection so that's why i got this um 50 ml bottle they also had the 100 ml bottle over there but i chose to get the 50 ml it's so beautiful and i can't wait to do an in-depth review for you guys if you guys are interested in it i move on <laughs> the next fragrance that i want to share with you guys is from zerjoff and it's from the akasa morati line and this is called dama bianca so i got this once again this haul is from fragrance.net and I got this because um, when I read the accords, I'm like, okay, this is something that I would like. This will be appropriate for spring, summer. And so that is the reason why I got this bottle. And this is an 100 ml and it's also Eau de Parfum. This fragrance bottle is just elegant. It's very, very beautiful. I do have the Lyra and so I can't wait to, you know, put them side by side. This fragrance, um, has main accords listed as powdery vanilla citrus, floral violet, musky woody, iris fresh, and white floral. It opens up with quam quam quat, quam quat, and lime. The middle has Italian iris, violet, and Egyptian jasmine, lilac, and lily of the valley. 
and the base has vanilla, malt, and bread, white max, sandalwood, and cedar. When I tell you this fragrance is slightly, not slightly, a citrusy, is vanillic, is slightly powdery to my nose. I just, it's just so spring and summer for me. So I will be doing another in-depth review for this particular fragrance and tell you guys the wear, the longevity, how it performs for you guys. But I feel like this is very appropriate for spring and summer but then again let me say this if you didn't hear me the first time wear what you want to wear when you want to wear and how you want to wear it i move on i have three fragrances left to share with you guys and they are from the same fragrance house and this fragrance house is new to me it's from the house it's from the fragrance house called Le artisan perfumer Hope I pronounce it right. This fragrance house was launched in the 70s if my research is right. And I found out about this fragrance from, um, from Abby with Love here on YouTube. And she has Banner Banana and that's what I wanted. But it wasn't available on Fragrantica. <laughs> Fragrantica. It wasn't available on Fragrance.net. So I decided, okay, let me try some of these ones that are available and i read notes and i'm like okay these notes tends will tend to suit me so let me try them this one i got because i wasn't sure of the notes so i got the 50 ml the other two are 100 ml this one is called batu batucada batucada i pronounce it right batucada this fragrance is sweet it's citrus it's marine it's aromatic it's green it's salty it's fresh spicy white floral coconut and yellow floral it opens up with lime mint and sugar king the middle has tiara flower and ylang ylang the base has salt water salt coconut it's listed as being a floral fruity fragrance and on fragrantica when i read about this some people say that it smells like fish pond but that's not the smell i'm getting i am getting the sea water like if you have been to the beach um, and you take the sea water and you smell it i get that slightly in here but it doesn't smell fishy and i like it and it is floral and fruity and salty if, if, if you can picture that and I get this from this fragrance once again if you guys want me to do an in-depth review of the house of La Letizan perfumer leave me a comment in the comment section and I will be glad to do that the next one that I want to share with you guys from the house of La Artisan perfumer is called Bucolix de Provence Bucolix de Provence hope I got it right and this fragrance is iris lavender leather powdery violet earthy aromatic animalic fresh and spicy and smoky it has iris lavender and leather and these are the notes that I found on Fragrantica this fragrance, when I tell you, it stays, it stays, it lasts. It's very beautiful. I don't get the animalic note that is listed um, on Fragrantica, but I do get the aromatic and earthiness of this fragrance. And the iris, which gives it the powdery note that I'm getting. And it's listed on Fragrantica. It's very beautiful. I'm so glad I actually got the red email so I wouldn't regret it. It's beautiful. I love it. And if, once again, if you guys want an in-depth review, leave me um, a comment in the comment section and I will do an in-depth review of the house of Le Artisan Perfumer, the three that I have. I will do an in-depth review for you guys. Moving on. Last but definitely not the least, from Le Artisan Perfumer, it's called Owl Wood. And I got this because I love fragrances with wood and oud and patchouli and 
you know so when i read the main accords and the um, top notes and middle and bass i'm like okay this would be a perfect fit for me and my husband this fragrance it's warm it's sweet it's spicy it's musky it's woody and animalic whereby and whereby i don't get the animalic note let me spray it so and i have used this so i'm not gonna put it on my skin it opens up with caraway and date and dry fruits it has cardamom and pink pepper it also has orange blossom the middle has agarwood it has leather and incense saffron rose iris and neroli the base of this has um civita which is an animal and it has myrrh it has sandalwood it has patchouli it has max it has tonka bean virginia cedar and vanilla for me when i put this on my skin it's not as woody as i wanted it to be it's still beautiful it's a beautiful fragrance but it's not woody woody the way i want and patchouli i just want my wood to like mm, and my patchouli to be like uh, 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 and it didn't give me that but it's still a beautiful fragrance incense it's fresh and yeah it's woody but it's not the woody the way i want it woody and woody it's not giving me that woody woody feel that i like but it's still a very beautiful fragrance well this is my haul from fragrance.net if you have watched this so far please do not forget to like also comment and if you haven't subscribed go ahead and subscribe and until i see you on another video stay blessed smell fabulous and bye for now